Hello, this is Gina Jean and we are going to be taking a look on how to retouch images. But first we're going to have to take a look at Adobe Bridge and Adobe Camera Raw so we can best understand how to utilize these programs and get the correct results that we seek in retouching. Adobe Bridge was originally an application that shipped with Photoshop beginning with Photoshop 7. Then in Photoshop CS1 it was separated out as its own application and it is now utilized for file management. It can manage anything from an Excel in a Word file to a PSD file or a camera raw file from Nikon, Canon, or any other camera as long as the correct driver is installed. Okay, so let's take a look at our workspace. What we're looking at here is the essential workspace for Adobe Bridge. To the left you'll see we have these two tabs, the Favorites tab and the Folders tab. The Favorites tab, that's where you can place all your current projects. You're putting them this, in this tab for easy access. The Folders tab is the file structure on your computer. You can just go through your file folders, find the folder that you want to work on, and access it that way. Below that, we have a Filters tab and a Collections tab. The Filters tab allows us to look at a folder. We can go ahead and open this one. And under our Baby P copy folder, we'll see that we can check and see when the file was created, last time it was modified, etc. Collections, this tab or workspace panel is for grouping together images from multiple folders that you are working on within a project. So you're putting them in a collection. You don't have to create a separate folder, copy them in there. You can put them in the collection and access them and allow them to stay where they are saved. In the center here we have our content tab. This is our thumbnail view of all of our images, almost like a contact sheet if you will. And then over to the right we have our preview. So if I were to open a folder with images and I select one of the pictures, over here on the right in my preview I can see a larger viewing of whatever image I select. Below that I have my metadata which is a panel filled with information that was saved with each image from the camera as the image was taken. It can tell me the ISO of the image, the date the image was taken. It can also include things such as the type of camera used to take the image. Beside that we have the Keywords tab. Now keywords can be attached to any image. They give us some examples here with categories and then within the categories you can attach even more detailed keywords. So for this one I would probably do photography, I would do portrait, I would do baby, I would do multiple different things. Maybe if I was doing apparel I would put vest, I would put headband, etc. So that's what the keywords tab is for. Now at the bottom you can look and see within your folder how many items are contained within the folder and then over to the right you can adjust the size of the contact thumbnails in the central area so you can make them smaller or larger. Also for viewing purposes you can hit the space bar and that will take you to a full screen view. Escape will bring you back to your workspace. So space bar brings you to a full screen view. Escape brings you back to your workspace within Bridge. Now in the upper right hand corner you can select different workspaces. Currently I have my Essentials workspace selected. But I could select also a film strip workspace, metadata workspace that gives me just more metadata information, keywords workspace, I can select the drop down, select a 
light table workspace and select folders workspace multiple different options you can create your own workspace and save that as well I'm going to go back to the essentials workspace and I'm going to drag this over adjust the size just a bit I'm going to make my thumbnails a little bit smaller so I can see multiple images all at the same time on the next video we're going to take a look at the preferences settings for Adobe Bridge and then we'll be taking a look at how to open images in Adobe Camera Raw